Okay, you might be wondering why we are revisiting this. Well, if you have the auto folding mirror, these pieces are separate and when you have that hole drilled through there, your wire is gonna get crimped like this. I almost severed it using the auto fold feature today. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to reroute this. What I wanna do is route it through this main wire somehow. I'm just not exactly sure where I'm gonna have to drill into. So I'm gonna do a little bit of research and report back. Okay, here we are revisiting everything, wires hanging out. We're gonna take out these 10 mils, pop this clip out, and just remove the whole assembly. And now, we're gonna pull the whole assembly out. And we're gonna take it inside. All right, y'all, first thing you're gonna wanna do is just push up, pull out your mirror glass. Uh, these should be unclipped. I already unclipped mine, just pull them off from here. The really light silver gray one is on the inside and the black one's on the out, out here on the outside. But the next thing we're gonna do here is we wanna take the mirror cover off. Next thing is flip this over. And down here at the bottom, where you have your puddle lamp, just kinda pull that open. And you see we got this in here. You'll see these three Phillips down here. We're gonna remove those. Okay, with those out, the two pieces of the mirror become loose, which is what we want. You can see right here, that's where it's getting crimped. When you have the auto folding mirror, these two pieces swivel and the holes don't line up, so then your wire ends up getting pinched inside of there. The next thing we want to do is on the front part here, we're going to take this piece out and there's a couple on the back. Um, or maybe just one that I can see. Hold on, let me double check. Yeah, there's this one right here. So we're gonna just start with these, remove them. So when you loosen all three of those, you'll be able to lift this motor up. But to fully lift it out, inside here, you'll see blue, yellow, and white wires. You'll see a little gray clip in there. We're just gonna unclip it like that. And now we can pull this whole thing out and it just clips into the back like that. Now if you're wondering what the bottom orientation is, you'll see that there's like one, two, three, one, two, three, and it's got this little like nipple here on the bottom, but yeah, this stuff will fit in the back right there. We'll just kind of set that aside. The next thing we're gonna do is loosen the motor. Inside there you see those two Phillips. Get those two next. Okay, flip it over. Here on the inside there's one more Phillips you wanna knock out. The next thing I'm gonna do is just pull my wire all the way through now. Okay, I got my red wire out now. I think there's one more Phillips on the back side of this, which I covered. I covered it with uh, this foam, foam tape at some point. And this is a smaller one, just keep that in mind. Down on this side, flip the bottom over. There's another Phillips right here, remove that one. So once you get that Phillips out, that little clip will come right out the bottom here. So the next thing we're gonna do here is try to loosen the motor out. Just kind of pull up on it like that and you'll see it's loose. There is this green clip in here. This thing pops out so it just pulls forward like that. And now what we wanna do, we're gonna have to pull some slack out of here to really get this thing out. So pull your wire forward. 
So come to the inside of the mirror, undo the tape here. That way we can get some slack from the wires because it's kind of holding itself together here. Or we'll retape it up when we finish. So you see that, that's what you want to see. You want to see this so we can pull it through like that. See, just pulled it through, get a little more slack, pull it. And let's see if that's enough slack to pull out the motor, which it is, perfect. So now uh, we're gonna end up running the wire down through here, through the motor. So to do that, and you're gonna run your wires through there. So you're gonna run your wire all the way through and then put everything back together. How fun is that? So best thing to do, just get your two wires, kind of twist them together, just so we can kind of get this first part. Pull that up. And you're gonna push that in here. And then, as you push them in through the top, then push this black wire back in forward. All the way down, all the way down. And then on the other side here, you should see your wires pop out. So there it is, I have the wire all the way through. So now I'm just gonna pull it to about here. And we're gonna leave some slack in here so we have some room to work with. And then on my part that got kinda crimped up originally, I'm just gonna kinda tape over. Next thing is just gonna be running all the wires back through everything. So I kind of have my wires ran through everything now. So I'm gonna put the motor back in place. Put those back on. Push this clip back in. Putting these ones back in on this side, I'm not sure they're necessarily for you to remove them. That's just what I did the first time. So that's what I'm doing this time also. And then pull your wire all the way through. We're gonna put this piece back together. There we go, it's ready to mount back up. So one last thing, if you have extra foam tape around, you might wanna grab that cause this stuff's gonna fall off from here. But just re-put this foam tape on here. Okay guys, I'm super pissed off. I dropped my mirror and this piece cracked and I tried to glue it together but I'm just gonna have to buy a brand new mirror. But I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I'm like $200 down now. And yeah, that's how you run the wires through here. So um, let you guys go. Peace out. I'll catch you next week.